We are down to the final evening of round robin play here at the Scotty's Mosaic Place in Moose Jaw. The page playoffs are on the horizon as the championship pool wraps up at Mosaic Place. The country's top teams are on a collision course for the weekend. Tonight, the battle for that coveted number one seed heats up. We're in Moose Jaw. It's the Scotties. Ah! And making our way in to Mosaic Place, the upper concourse for this final night of round robin play in the championship pool. This afternoon, a key game between Prince Edward Island and Northern Ontario. The result, really, several teams and their future in the event, depending on this result. PEI down, 6-3 playing 10. And Northern Ontario left so many stones in play, and Krista McCarville had to make that little rub and roll over. And that left PEI and Suzanne Burt with this, trying to run it back. She needed three to tie, four to win, and she wouldn't get it, getting just two, as Northern Ontario picks up the win, and that eliminates anyone else in contention. And so now we already know the four qualifying teams elsewhere. Team wildcard Jennifer Jones wins over Manitoba. It was British Columbia beating Team Canada, the defending champions, and Ontario wins by five over Saskatchewan. And so here we go. We know that Northern Ontario can do no better than fourth place, but Ontario, Team Wildcard, and Manitoba tonight will sort out one, two, and three and the page playoff. And on this Friday night, we do say hello, Canada. Welcome back to Moose Jaw. Continuing coverage of the Scotty. Cheryl Russell alongside. And so it is Manitoba against Ontario, our featured game. And Manitoba, goodness gracious, they've just lost two games all week. Hard to pick where their fault may lie. And there's only two little faults that end up being big on the scoreboard this afternoon against Jones. Gave up a four right off the bat. That game's over. A seven to Andrea Crawford in New Brunswick. That game's over. Other than that, they've been just about perfect. Number one in stats. They just, in both cases, tried too hard to force their opponents, forgot to bail out, right. and cost them two games. Interesting, when you talk about Ontario, it turns out maybe a shot here, maybe a shot there. Well, and, and you're right, they may have bad shots, but they rarely turn into full bad ends. And that's really because of the uncanny ability of this team to know when to bail, uh, judgment, rock placement. And Rachel Holman herself, she has the ability now to save an end with her draw. And you now see a team that is able to summon performance on demand, and they're going to need to do so tonight to get in that one two game. All right, so it is Manitoba against Ontario. We know that Team Wildcard and Jones is also in the mix. We'll sort it all out over the course of the next three hours. Oh. One come across, kick it away. Great shot. Uh -oh. What a great shot. Such a good hitter. Got to get through the port. They will. Bang. Red goes. And there is two and a win for Team Manitoba. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by OK Tire and BKT Tires by Purex Bathroom Tissue, soft and absorbent for over 95 years. And by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. So it is Team Ontario against Manitoba on this final evening of round robin play. Time to meet the teams now. Brought to you by Home Hardware, here's how. Team Ontario, the champions hail from the Ottawa Curling Club, Rachel Holman, Along with Lisa Weagle, Joanne Courtney, and Emma Miscue, three-time champion, Rachel Holman. Team Manitoba, 
Kerry Anderson and the team from the Gimli Curling Club with Brianne Mayer, Shannon Burchard, and Val Sweeting. And Manitoba has won the draw to the button, and so they will have the last rock. They'll have the hammer playing the yellow stones. Rachel Holman out, brushed down, and to get us underway, the Ontario lead is Lisa Wheat. That's already a minor victory for Manitoba to get the hammer. Uh, the one thing you want to do if you can is keep the hammer away from this uh, Holman team. They've been just deadly this week, 64% of the time. They're converting to two or more with the hammer. That's the highest number out here in this field. What would you say the average would be, around 30? Yeah, 35, 40. Yeah. 40 is probably high. Yeah. like to go a bit. I think it's lost. Ontario has five wins and no losses, however, without the last rock. So dangerous as well. Curling, curling, guys. Nope. Straight to my bro. Okay, let's get close. Curling pretty hard. Yeah, you're right. Hi, girl. Good spot. All right, let's take a look at the keys to the game, and we will start with Ontario. Well, I just talked about the hammer. The, this team, they're scoring machines. They do what they need to do when they have hammer. They take risks, and they put a lot of points on the board. And then Emma, Emma Miskew, I think she's one of the best line callers. Uh, so she could get the award tonight for sure for saving some shots. I think she can get the most out of Rachel's shots by calling line and even by recognizing what a plan B would be on our line call. I get it. The Emma goes to very good. <laughs> and the key's now for Manitoba. Well, careful without, I mean, careful without hammer that we just yeah. talked in the opening, the two disastrous ends uh, the four and the which caused them to gamble give up another four and then the seven to New Brunswick where nobody's good enough to come back from those type of numbers so really really take as much uh, stock of what's going on with the ends and if you have to bail bail rock placement that's what causes these big ends and nobody's better at capitalizing on putting a rock in the wrong spot than Rachel Holman in Ontario you throw a rock in the top eight instead of back eight they make the double for two the keys to the game I thought would never end. They're brought to you by <laughs> Purex bathroom tissue, soft and absorbent for over 95 minutes. Over 95 years. I didn't hear the last minutes. Oh my 10 gosh, minutes. it just went on and on and on. Yeah, the, the, you know, but you talk about the first ends for Manitoba in particular. They have scored in their last three. They scored a three with Hammer. They scored a three with the Hammer. Then earlier today, they gave up a four to, uh, to, to a wild card in Jones. So the first end has been very explosive either way. It's telling for them. Probably why they went open side here, just to uh, keep it a little uh, more sane. They would uh, love to blank this one out and start fresh and uh, an even end. Well, and if you're going to handicap these two teams, you have to look at the experiences definitely on home and side in big games. They've just been together longer and been in more of them. And not that this is a sudden death game, but it would be a nice one to get into to that one two game. Yes, no we did mention that uh, prior to the championship round, the ice makers have touched up the rocks. So think of it as a, your uh, a skate, sharpen the skates, sharpen the stones. The ice was getting just a little straight. So as we say, Good evening, Kathy Gauthier. You have to now adjust. It's almost like going back to day one for every team, including Manitoba. Well, Carrie for sure felt that the ice was more sensitive this morning. She said it could have been in part to those sharpened stones, and it may also have been in part to those new sharpened stones on fresh pebble. It for sure caught them with a lot of bounce-offs, and those bounce-offs wound up to be a four for Jennifer Jones. You talked about the bail. She felt that she was bailing Russ, but she was trying to bail out of ends by soft shots. That's the talk with Patty Vandy talking, Patty Vandy, now Patty Vutrick, <laughs> talking about how do you bail? Well, you bail with your strength, and that's right through the order. That's the hit. Yeah, they, there's no doubt they thought, as we look at Shannon Burchard throwing the, uh, the second stones, trying to run this one back, and we'll touch it over. Does it go all the way? Yes, it does. They waited too long against uh, New Brunswick. They waited really too long at times, even against 
uh, wild card in Jones today. Oh. When do you go? Well, sometimes yeah, with her, so. Val Sweetings first. If not, you certainly go with the last of Shannon Birch. Well, we just witnessed that with the 15-foot uh, oh. run back to uh, oh, pick that uh, Ontario oh, Barry Rock out of there. That's the weapon for sure. Well, they All there. Positive this is touch and go. Back eight, back 12. There he is. Yeah, go. Whoa, whoa. Spot. I think this is going to be the matchup to watch tonight. I mean, they're all close. Both skips tied at the same percentage, both leads. I think he watched Val Sweeting and Emma Miskew, and that'll be a battle, and the one that gets a little bit of an edge. That's going to be a benefit for the skipper. Val's up a point on Emma, and uh, Emma's used mm -hmm. to being uh, yeah. top dog. Yeah. Back four. Yeah. Line skip. Yeah. Back four. Yeah, line. Yeah, line a bit. Line only. High line. line. Yep. Line well, only. Well, line skip. Yep. Yeah, line. Line only. Yep. Right to it. Keep one. Keep Hard. One. Top Here, four. You might Hard. Keep going. Keep going. Right to it. Right to it. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. And down Ooh, to it, nice back of the tee line. Manitoba with last rock. Probably didn't have to brush that. I think they're worried about the overcurl. Good there now. Yeah. Okay. Take on the tee. Not uh, peeking over. They may have a game coming up, though. The, you see Jennifer Jones, team wild card in the background. Six seven. She has qualified. Not sure where she will wind up, first, second, or third. You certainly want to be in that one two game. Gives you that second chance. Yeah. That's huge. It's critical. Got to sit. Too much weight. Yeah, it's fine. One or the other, we're okay. Yeah, I tried to get it down on the corner, just rolls off a little. Do you like this shot. way? Okay. Or I'm sure we can play this side. It's we could get there that way. Yeah. Nice. And if not, we freeze yeah. it. Yeah. Sure. It looks a little better with the out turn, but they haven't played it. And so you'd be taking a little bit more of a guess down that center line path. This is the better call. You can tap that. Home and stone back just a touch. Yeah, a lot more practice rocks out wide like this, aren't there? Yeah, racing to the button in both directions. And they are sitting two with the hammer. So British Columbia, Saskatchewan, those teams were eliminated with Northern Ontario's win earlier today. Northern Ontario potential matchup against Wild Card and Jennifer Jones when the championship round begins. Ontario Manitobas are featured in Team Canada. The defending champions, Chelsea Carey at four and six. PEI eliminated also earlier today. to make this effectively has to get to the inside of that yellow which is underneath so he has to get a little closer to the guard Would you ever play the out turn at this? If you're going to try to get down to the corner and maybe be shot stone or cut them down, could you play the other turn? You could, for sure you could. I think again, it goes back to they've seen this path, they know this weight and they'd be guessing a bit with the out turn on the weight. And rolling it back and not getting inside enough. So those two yellow rocks still sit one, two, Manitoba. Almost, it looked like it was gonna really try to go hard at the end. Did it ever. Terrible, yeah. but yeah, basically block this draw okay. and this tap. Um, what are we thinking here? Great shot, like though. Like Rachel can raise that really with either turn. Right now, so take max, yes. and then we can always finish it. Because okay. I mean, like here is fine. Oh. Yeah, like you got some air. I think we'll less than that. Oh. 
even uh, wide open on the center line top four. Because Rachel taps that red one. You get a one foot raise. I think you'll get some finish. It's an interesting situation. Um, we'll try and let it work. It's going to be a touch fresh out here, too. Yeah, so I like get the a ice. little bit of curl. Yeah. What are you thinking? Um, if you 15, bury this rock, yeah. then you can't raise it. That ice looks good here. Right to it. You know that, Cheryl? Center, put it yeah. on the center. I, you know, I was just thinking, what are you most concerned about here? Them tapping and forcing you? or stealing on you. Eight, if that's the case, and you're probably throwing it top eight, oh, yeah, trying to guard the tap, mm -hmm. forcing them to a tough, tough draw. Mm -hmm. one more. Get it. I actually think I'd take away this tap. The intern tap? Eight. Yeah, I mean, and they're kind of trying to do both here. You yeah. can see they're going to try and angle on the red. Richard. Mayor. And try to put it on the corner nice. instead. It'll just settle. They're sitting the three. Well, it's interesting that these are the four playoff teams, two in our game and two in this game, which we update now. Northern Ontario, final stone. They have the hammer. The team from Thunder Bay, Krista McCarthy. Well, an opportunity for two. Jennifer faced two on her final stone, tried the hit and roll behind the center guard and just stuck it, so it is open, but shot, and that's why she's playing the hit. 10-2. red? And two red it is, so Northern Ontario opens with a couple against Team Wildcard and Jennifer okay, Jones, whose yeah. tournament okay. began a week ago tonight in the uh, wildcard game and a win over Tracy Fleury to get herself into the field of 16. Just a foot too far, really, because now they can angle it in. And get that back, well, straight, straight back, I should say, and angle out that back rock. I'm not sure why they were brushing no. that. Oh, the simples. So it's got to be perfectly straight back. If you high side, it jams that yellow and you roll out. And I wonder what you might leave. Mm -hmm. so that's going to be. Well, if you nose, know, they're only laying one. Because yep. you get the back one. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Lisa, got to go. Well, got two, one rid of one, moved a second. And uh, shot stone now does belong to Ontario. Oh, but left a shot double. No. I think there's enough room, don't you? To I do. Just got to get it right yeah. on the center line. Right so you you got to scare that yeah. guard, but that goes, that goes, and I don't think that can possibly roll out. It's got to stay right there. Three. Uh, Rachel's almost backed up. You know, she throws it a wee bit differently than uh, most players. So you, you've got to get close to the guard here. All right here, let's make this. Firm or peel? Uh, peel. Yeah, you got it. I like it. Yeah, peel weight. That'll get enough action on that uh, right, right hand right one as we're looking it. at it now. And make sure you get by. Get rid of that one, roll over, you get two. If you move it at, you know, a foot, you get three. Don't let the guard uh, ruin things here. So Manitoba trying to... Uh, do something no other team has done this week, and that's score three against. Oh, and there it is. So, statistically, that's a first. Manitoba scores three against Ontario, who give up three for the first time. And look at that, Manitoba. The last two times they had the hammer in the first end, they scored three. Three in a row. Well, Manitoba loves the first end, don't they? For the uh, third straight game where they've had the last rock in the first, they put three on the board. So here we go to the second on this final night, round robin play in the championship pool. Ontario will have the hammer playing the red stones in two. Well, what will make this a battle is what we talked about in the very first end is Homan's team has, they're 20% better with the hammer. So even though you get a three point lead mm -hmm. and it's early for, you know, the five rock makes you continue to play the game too, which always brings in more opportunity for the team that is down. Oh yes.
And when you think about it, it Kerry Anderson, this is the shot that helped set up the three. Well, we've talked about how she's worked on her draw and that shots because this is money for her. Just that was made right out of her hand. That's what she's become and is known for. And that led to the three, the key shot brought to you by BKT Tires. Growing together. A lot of similarities in these two skips. We, we've picked on Rachel over the years because they're so good. We've always said they're the best hitting team on the planet. Well, Kerry Anderson comes along, she's a pretty good hitter. So you start saying, well, the weakness is drawing, and, and both teams have obviously, look at the finesse shots that were made there, just incredible. First end, fresh pebble, different spots. Well played in by Manitoba. I think the only shot that really got Ontario in trouble was because Val made, and we talked about that being a big key matchup, is Val made a really good freeze. Emma chipped off and that started that bad series of them freezing on something with backing. Trying to make the double, oh, trying to stay. Right. Okay. Good. Wanted to stay, but it's still useful, that corner guard. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Didn't get all the wheels down. Yep. Shannon Hershard. Yep. I find it fascinating with her delivery because when she's coming out for appeal, she has to have a lot of things happen. She counter turns and then turns the rock back. And it's amazing with the extra rotation, the back set now and watch. then the forward set. Now watch this counter and she doesn't have a lot of time. She's coming out for appeal. The O turn's even tougher. It's, it's, uh, you gotta get that in before that hog line shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to do. That uh, the year Shannon uh, took Caitlin Law's spot, uh, she was brilliant oh. for Jones. And a pressure situation Lisa to walk Hart. into, too. Hard. Hard. Keep going, keep going, hard. Keep it high. Do you like feeling that? I think we feel peeling. Right? Marcel Rock, of course, the Fabby Furby four, then. In his second tour with this team, when you think about it, and it was interesting, he said, because we talked about Jun Zhang, and he was coaching China at the time. And he said it was in his contract that he would not coach against Canada because uh, Rachel Holman, when she was going back and forth, would live in his basement. Right. So she was family. With him and her uh, uh, So uh, she wouldn't, he wouldn't coach her uh, against her. But when he came back, they said, can we try again? And he said, OK, with these conditions. And uh, he says they've learned, and she has learned, how to also throw the quieter weight because she's got become a, a better drawer. And it, it's a it's curious thing because it's the same thing with, uh, with uh, Kerry Anderson. You have a belief that you can only make the upweight shots and you have to work on it and work on it until you, in fact, believe. It becomes your favorite. You start to Lisa, look to the draw Lisa. as opposed to the hit. Hard, Lisa. Hard to get it. Go, go, go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Really gotta go. Anything, Joe, anything. Gotta go. I think it's fascinating, Russ, to see the little bits of all the coaches that Homan's team has worked with. You look at you know, they've taken some things from Earl Morris and then Richard Hart was with them. That's right. Adam Kingsbury, right. analytics, like they've just built and built upon all these great coaches. And then back to Marcel Rock, and I think that was for the touch game. Oh, no kidding, no kidding. It adds up to an awfully good curling team. Yeah, smart to reach out to the right people. So that's up a yellow double, but to make the yellow double, you're going to leave a red double. Unless you throw it 
really hard and roll right. Let's roll big. Up normal for the roll. Hey. Hey. Up normal, shouldn't do much. So double and roll away. Yeah, as far left as you can without rolling out, and but you can't you can't hit it too far off center. So this big weights required here. Nice to sit the two as we drop in on the game. British Columbia, Saskatchewan. They did blank the uh, the first final. Stone final game for Robin Silvernagel, Saskatchewan, this year's Scotties. Well, facing three, Corinne Brown tried to play the freeze. She got locked on part, but if Robin can get to the nose. Oh, and she squeezes it out, just smeared it out the back and for a three. And uh, yeah, you know, she's, she didn't, it's a disappointing <laughs> week. Uh, let's be honest. Didn't get the crowd yeah, into it. Didn't feet, feed off the crowd as much. Well, the schedule got tough. They were doing really well. Lost a close game in Northern Ontario and then went out and played three in a row. And uh, just kind of ran out of steam. It's already a long week and a grind and add that into the mix. Great roll by Emma there. I didn't think she could roll He's quite that ahead. far. Not a shot at a double at all. Are they going to tuck a piece underneath? Nice. They get it close. Patty Vutrick coaches this team from Gimli. And uh, of course, she uh, lives in Gimli. And so they spent a lot of time on the ice together, and that's where they've worked so hard on the the draw weight and those sort of hack weight, those half weight shots, as it were. But uh, further to what your point earlier about this team, they get caught up. What's the adage? You try so hard to force some team to a single, and you end up giving three and four. <laughs> yeah. And she says they're guilty of that, and they've got to make sure they pick their bail point a lot earlier. Right over hard. Go, 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 go. Another go, go. great shot. It looks simple, but you're, you're, you have to get by that red one by about an inch to make it properly. You have to throw it firm to get some separation. This is a huge shot right here. Oh, yeah. It's 3-2 if you don't make this one. And they're right yeah. back in it, Ontario. You got it. Make it, Ontario's going, boy, what am I up against? Yeah, what do we do here? Right. Let's do it, you got it. Yeah. Uh, she's down to the other end having a look, Val Sweeting. And I'm just thinking, if they can't hold this shooter here, if for ever one reason the shooter should go, would you play a split for a three on that one in the front? It's probably makeable. Okay. Tough. I think Sweeting went up to have a look. Yeah, I wanted to see how tight it was and what the angle would be. Yeah, up on yeah. that toe. Hard, 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 hard. Manitoba hard, all the way. Hard, hard, Carrie hard, Anderson. Mayor. All the way. And look out now. Look ah. out now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, maybe we'll see it now. Northern Ontario up by a couple and uh, looks like they are oh, so shot stones at the top four. So what's this for two or three? This is a chance for three. Krista McCarville facing three on her final stone was trying to play a hit and roll underneath all of those stones, but stuck it right on the nose. So it is open for Jennifer for three. Clean it. Eleven a bit. Drop the first game of the event right after they won the Wild card game and oh, they've go, rattled off go. nine oh. straight. Oh dear. Fine, fine. And that spins too far, yeah. settles for two. two. So here we go. Playing the split. Yeah, Ten gonna give it a go. Yep, yep, yep. It's We're definitely not. there. Where are we? Hard! 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 Hard
Straight shot, straight shot. Straight oh, they're going to miss it, so. Really curled. Eight, seven. Sounded frosty. Yeah. It's our reach. Two. So they'll get their deuce, missing the chance for the split. 3-2, Manitoba. Lisa Weagle throwing the lead stones for Ontario out of the Ottawa Curling Club as we welcome you back on this Friday night to Moose Jaw and our coverage of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts, the Canadian Women's Curling Championship. Three to two, Manitoba leads it. And we go to the third, Manitoba with Last Rock playing the Yellow Stones, Manitoba, Ontario. Northern Ontario, Team Wildcard, Jennifer Jones, they are your four playoff teams. And we'll sort out the final seedings for the page playoff at the end of the evening. Back four, do you want to go all the way back? Take it right back. Yeah, take it back, back 12. I think it's all the way, it's there. Okay. All right. Well, that's two back of the T line. Yeah, that's probably the, the fastest. The, the first one they, they wanted back there, so there was no hit and roll, but that's probably the fastest spot, that intern. Six or seven shots there in the first yeah. end, right? <laughs> They've been down there so many times, just sliding really good. Joanne Courtney. Coleman out two down. Go, go, go. Trying to get that leading edge. That curling edge and try to help it over. And boy, do they ever. It's underneath, sitting top of the button. How nice is that? Straight peel on the dangerous one. I always like that. Thrower says. Shannon Berger trying to get rid of the stone up top. Oh, they just caught it and slide on through. But there's Joanne Courtney, you know. And great sweeping. Emma would like to reply, thank you, but she's out of breath. <laughs> she'd like to say something and just can't. <laughs> that <moment. laughs> she nods. It just nods. Okay. She nods yeah, I can't appreciate it. Let me catch my breath first. Oh, that's a tough one when you don't even like, try to get it by. Just tick the top one. Close. Didn't remove and it. And that's the rule of thumb, isn't it, Russ? You get one or the other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think oh, Shannon's just heavy. she's just trying to throw my hair too hard. Top four. Mine's really bad. Okay. Uh oh, set up a double here. No, I don't think we can bounce at all. Oh, oh. Okay. And there isn't. So they're down to the corner, yeah, but the corner's thing. showing. All right, same thing. Yeah. Hey. I like chasing it, Cheryl. If you, you throw a hack weight, stay on top of it, kick one of them out of there. Because it might put a better guard well, on. Right. You'll never get a chance. Unless it's a double way. peel. Can we double peel? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. You can, but you better make it. If it's there, I'm asking. Play it. Okay. Yeah. Bail point. Mm -hmm. Is this it? Well, they have hammer here, so you can you can usually bail a little later with hammer. Okay. But yeah. yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. you know Shannon's got the tools to make this type of shot. Stop it! But nice rolls it over. It spills now, covering the edge of the twelve. But the shooter hangs up. It's out there. I think we just couldn't go in. Covering the edge of the four. Yeah, way better though. And, uh, oh, is it ever? That's part of the strategy, Vic. It's 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 a tough shot, but it's Shannon Burchard playing it, so maybe it's worth the risk. Two and a half. Two. I you know I and the only thing I lean toward playing the ones in the four foot is because there's two in there. Mm -hmm. There's one, the double peel all day, but 
Yeah. Now you're chasing two and yeah. You're still in trouble and you made a double peel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they need a half shot miss here out of uh, Team Ontario. Now I know you don't play for misses or you'd hope to not miss, but if you go if you would have played the two stones in the forefoot, boy, if you ever get don't get them then yeah no and that's the risk Vic absolutely but they'd seen that spot so many times from the very first end on I think he could have easily played a board weight tap mm -hmm. get rid of one when you stay on top you're looking Ooh. for a big end yeah no it's a, a, that's the hard part it's and then when you don't execute you go oh that was strategy was wrong one more time Bang. And away they go. And then spills the Ray Stone out into the top edge of the, the four. Really? And that's what uh, Patty Vutrick said. In those big ends, the seven, and then the two fours against Jones today. Okay, there's daylight. Yeah, they missed their bail point, but they also didn't execute. Yeah. They right. missed shots. They had to have. And yes. that's going to happen. Well, and it usually does, and it's a, it's just compounded miss after miss because the next player gets a little tighter and the next player, and mm -hmm. it can just go up the line. This isn't heavy. I've got to make a decision, either bury it because it could overcurl on them. Oh, they're getting it there. Go, 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 Yeah, Cheryl, right? If that oh. stops a foot higher, there's a double. Really great brushing. I really like that they let the skipper take it. Yeah. <laughs> Says a lot for skips. Oh, I don't want to yeah. start that trend. <laughs> it's only a few feet. Yeah. It wasn't like half the sheet or anything. Yeah. Hey, we're off it just for a while, and then by the time Ayer got back down to it, watch what happens here. Oh, and she got there in time. As it rolls over for shot stone, it looked like there was a huge hesitation. Wait was fine. Yeah, wait was good. Yeah. Val is having a good week. Sorry, there's a little, the whole team solid, is, but you can nope, just see Val making 11. kind of those okay, key yeah. shots. She'll get the roll. She'll make do, the freeze. Yeah. She's gonna have to with Emma. Yeah. Chance to sit too buried with the back one frozen all of a sudden. Try to the inside. Run. It should curl, I gotta believe it. Yeah. Up to speed in here? Yeah. Kind of wait. I hack. think so. We haven't really seen hack. it, right? But it should it's, be hacked. should be up to speed. A little slower. I think you gotta stay down, Joe. Keep it off center line. Rachel Holman, first skip stone. Yeah, this is really running. You want to jam it and release that red. It's looking at that red right now. Go, 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 That could have been worse. Floated. Yeah. Here, it didn't come up. Wait, it's really floated. I like to throw. Same. Is that different, Russ, than the first few days yeah. where the likes of uh, Jennifer yeah, Jones right and some yeah, others got caught on up weight yeah, shots that sure you were punished because they were update and it didn't catch the curl. Is that a little different, this one? Yeah, I think from Rachel's reaction, she popped that out a little bit, just just floated it out of here. Like and and that, that, to your point, that's what's that's been the common miss this week. Seem to catch them off. Like I heard Emma say, I like the throw. So I, I just, I also think they maybe over iced it a bit too. Yes. Yeah. Rachel right. thought it might grab some pebble. That might be the other reason. Yeah. What are they? Are they trying to roll inside or straight back and yellow onto red? I 
Think straight back. Yeah, and, and just roll in an yeah. inch. It's just a red double, too. Both reds go. Yeah, Want to avoid it? Oh, yeah. couldn't. Very nice. Sorry. Oh, so okay. good. They'll spill it. And then there's that fighter at the back. And that's the one, boy. You saw the two. They could have maybe, if they held that one, sit four, but they're sitting three at the moment. Yeah, curls another eighth of an inch. She hits less of her own and sticks it, but what a great shot and what a great end again for Manitoba. Pack double, I believe. In a 2-2 two -two tie. And it looks like Northern Ontario may have a chance at another couple. Well, she does, thanks to a nice berry by Kendra Lilly on her second. Jennifer tried to go around, was open, was hit by Krista McCarville, and then Jennifer hit and rolled to the wings. And this is the nose on that stone for two. To take a 4-2 lead. Kendra Lilly, who throws the third stones for the team from Northern Ontario's outstanding Terrific game earlier today, and uh, maybe the best we've seen her play at a Scotty's. It's close yeah. to double, it's close yeah. to rolling yeah. yes. Yes. Roll it. Oh. Roll it, me. No, no. Oh, nice shot. Shot? Tough to get this out. Shot. I think we're shot. Yeah, nice roll. Red. We're right Take behind look, it. The out turns probably the way to go. Yeah. I think we can chase this. Get a little finish out there. Oh, turn through the hole, you think we but can make like it this way down. Big quarter. Um, this way looks easier to me. Yeah. yeah. It does yeah. And even if you jam it in the back when you score, yeah. you score one. Like yeah, like Shannon threw that 10 note here. It was actually 9-3 and, and it ran dead straight. Yeah. Awfully so long think, guard. You can right you could bump? Bump? probably yeah. get fairly close to the nose if you try hard like, enough. Take a look. Yeah. I think this is like two's good, but I think it's there for three. Pick the right speed like, here. Like hack, hack third. the board, I would believe, is the way to go. Yeah, yeah, whatever you see here, whatever you think it makes it. That should be close for Bon Faye. I think so. so. I think we can hold it a little out here. Okay. Remember yeah. Rachel's uh, split for three that at the other end, it was a similar path, and it, it kind of hit some pebble and died. I want to get this by. Here comes that guard, and here they go. Birchard, Mayer, here they go. Here comes that guard. Oh. Staying with it, avoid the jam. Push it through, and good for three. Oh. Bloody incredible. Oh, that was brilliant rushing. The sneaking by there. And then get away with a little bit of a jam and push it out. They say great brushing can put two points on the board. I put three. You're running out of room. <laughs> There's three. Manitoba. Well, if you haven't, let's get you caught up in what's going on at the World Junior Championships in Russia. We'll start with women's play, semi-final. Canada gets the Russians, pick it up fifth. Russia leading 4-1. Mackenzie Zakari is facing one. What a shot, in off to score three. Now score tied eight, extra. Canada with last rock, and again facing one. Zakarius with the uh, takeout. Shooter will. Come on, hang around. That'll do it. Canada wins at 9-8. And now they go on to uh, face Korea, Kathy. And that's a really big win because Russia, that is the defending champion. So for Mackenzie and her team, they will go on to face Korea. That is Minji Kim. She has played on the women's circuit. She will be really tough. And you know, Vic, you might want to know that it's minus four and overcast. 
over there in Russia because I know how much you care about the weather. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's go to the men's semi now and uh, make Jacques Gauthier. Canada against Germany in the second. Facing one will hit and stick. And that'll score a couple. And Canada sit down. Jumps out to the lead. So now to the eighth we go. Germany leading four to three. Canada sitting the one with the last drop. And it's a really good sweeping here, Zach. Galaka, Braden Payette, and Canada with a couple. They now lead it by one. So to the 10th, look at that. What a mess, Kathy. <laughs> Canada still up 5-4, but it's Germany with Last Rock facing three. How do you get there? And well, they can't. Canada steals a couple. Make the final. 7-4 Canada and they will now go on to face Switzerland in the final. Well, and that is an upset. That is a sudden death semi-final one versus four with Switzerland, Scotland. Scotland finishing the round robin in first, but they were upset by Switzerland and that game begins in 33 minutes. You're going to count it down, aren't you? You right? know it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, good luck to both Canadian teams from all of us here. As we continue on, so Manitoba, wow, three in the first, three in the third, 6-2 they lead it. Ontario with Last Rock playing the Red Stones here in four. Great little roll by Joanne that starts this end off. Two corner, double corner guards. Perfectly placed also, Lisa Weagle. You have to give a lot of credit. You could hear those two brushers on uh, Carrie Anderson's last one. Like it, it went through the guard, and you could see huh. Shan and Burchard was giving it. I, those two have worked so hard on brushing as two skips. Uh, you know, they've owned their positions. I talked to Patty about it after they won the provincial championship for Manitoba, and she said they've just they have a lot of respect for Carrie. They know she's going to make everything. But they've also worked very hard to own the position they play and be the best at it. And that was a perfect example. I mentioned they might be the two best brushers out here on Tuesday, I think it was. But to your point, they, Carrie's really worked on the finesse game. How much more confidence must she have yeah. sitting in the hack playing a touch shot with that front end? Oh. Good. Good, Joe. Yeah, that ticks the guard. It's a four-point swing. 3-3 three, three instead of 6-2. I think we might just have to take the win in the house, Care. Yeah. At this point in time, Team Holman is 92%. They're down four. Nose is fine. Yeah, nose is good. Tough league. Okay. Nose is good. I also think with Carrie too, it's it's having you you don't realize it's such a small team curling, right? You don't realize the impact you have on each other out there. And I don't know if she's always had the team that maybe believed in how she called the game, which is fine. Everybody has different opinions, but this team does. And that gives her the ability to call, build some confidence. Rachel's okay, yeah. doing what she always does, just finds a way to get two. She's got that one socked in over in the corner. Now she'll work away with a freeze. Try to get an easy two here. Light. We've got different rocks. Sorry? We've got different rocks. Make it just knows it. I'm talking about Emma's rocks because she thought that was the right ice and it over curled significantly, even though the weight was probably down a touch. Do you ever like the freeze and release? Think the freeze or a nose on this? That looks scary to me. She doesn't like that. Okay. Yeah, we can do that one then. You can pick the red out with some high speed. We're one, two, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah. And just release it 
Yeah, I guess, I guess as long as you, yeah. They were talking about tapping it out and then that would leave out yellow double. So leaving all three yellows in certainly helps. It might stop that biter from going on the scoreboard. They've still got three hits left, Holman. Val Sweeney. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Back eight. Close. Back eight. Back eight. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Still back eight. Oh. Oh. Back 12. Stand in a bit. Stand in. Hard, 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 yes. hard. 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 Oh, Get it. Good. That's good. Oh, sit there in a little nest. Yeah, that's nice. Good job. Straight line. Pretty good girl. spot. Yeah. British Columbia has uh, come back with a uh, steal of one. So they're within one, three, two, playing the fourth. You can get a couple good things with this mm -hmm. one for Holman. You can roll behind the corner, tap that shot stone like back onto that back yellow. It jams, doesn't it? Mm hmm I thought they actually got it far enough that it wouldn't, but. Depends on where you hit it. Yeah. Like Just when rolled a bit with the shooter. A little thinner, but is it ever worth like on the center one? I, I like this. Even if we sit right nose and top this to here. Okay. So 11-ish? I think we need hot because we're moving two ropes. Light hot. Hot? Light hot, yeah. You'd love hot. to move that yellow-red combo onto the back yellow and get it out of there. 11's okay. Which brings in that okay. nibbler. Hot. Don't have to do it with this shot, but it is lined up pretty up. close. But doesn't she, did she not just say, I'll, I'll take the red back to the face of the yellow? Or, yeah. Yeah, she'll take that back and freeze. They would okay. really optimally like the shooter to roll behind the corner. But she said she also didn't mind it just sticking on nose as well. There's the catcher at the back. Just didn't curl Not like bad. her first one. I know it was a bit more weight, but mm -hmm. that really really yeah. leave it frozen yeah. on that yellow. Yeah. It doesn't might. touch this one. It looks like it might be. I think we have to play it anyway. But even if it does touch here, we're still shot. Well, as long as it catches one of them. Otherwise, the shell will fit three. I think because it's going to pull yeah. it away. I think yeah. it'll hit it. Northern Ontario leads okay. by I two, and they Take are sitting the one on half. the lid. Final stone to come from Team Wildcard and Jennifer Jones. Well, that yellow stone you see at the top of the four is Jennifer's attempted freeze on her first one, facing a couple. And when it was not made, Krista capped it off with the guard. So this is the angle off the guard on the outside, trying to nut it for two. Caitlin Laws calling line, Jocelyn no. Peterman, and Don McHugh and on the no. brush from the St. Vital Curling Club. Our Don, really close. Really close. Uh, not enough. It'll be a steal of one Northern Ontario. We know our four playoff teams. We also know that Jones will be either one or two by virtue of last block draw numbers. Carrie Anderson. And she'll spill it. And they are sitting one and two for sure. Looks like they're sitting even three. But. Good. No, nope, doesn't hit it. No. Got the double. And there's a lot of little reds hanging around. It's not really going to go, though, eh? Sorry? It's not really going to go, though, eh? You make that. The roll, you mean? I think it will. You roll your red over here. Even I don't know, maybe in this balls, area. Like she's got to make a hit and roll. hits it. You've yeah. got to double I for as many as four. Here, I threw mine careful here. The double? Just yeah. tried too hard to get yeah, the back one and didn't get out the double. one they were aiming at, yeah, Cheryl. Just, just kill that one they hit. Kind of too thick. Yeah. Just the back one was going where it was going. Is anything else is a little risky to give up. Technically a wide open miss because they didn't get it out of the rings. Normal! Yep. Hard! Gotta go. Hold it there. Hard! A 
out of their hand. They're so good. Aren't they, Courtney Weagle, just to know? Oh, jammed it, and watch it spill. And the yellow will go just a little farther. So sitting one for sure at the moment is Manitoba. That's a stone at the top of the eight foot at about two o'clock. One o'clock. Be careful though. Good. Red second and third. You miss the eight foot, it's a hit for three. Mm -hmm. You miss the rings, it's a hit for five. Double one. for five. And not give her a gimme double, that's all. Yeah. So back but we talked about the confidence know. in draw weight. Well, that's it. I mean, in the past, you would be biting your nails, I think, if you're a Manitoba fan. Yeah. But uh, today, yeah. Carrie Anderson today well, believes that she can make this right. shot. Right to that back one. Right to the back be. one? Yeah. Yeah. So back eight. So um, this, this, I it, should, this should be lost. Yeah. Okay. Like we can't play to tap. You could to hit that one no. on Sorry, the side, hit Cheryl. Hit. Just hit and stay. Yeah. You're sitting uh, two and fourth, and that eliminates a big score. It's whatever you're comfortable with, really. It has to be a shade slower here. It's only the fourth end. Close. 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 Boy, they, it's not curling. Mine's good. You got to be and Mayer wasted no time, didn't they? And look at Air Anderson right up behind them. Sweden coming too. You're coming out to help. Unless you can get it back here. No, yep, yep, yep. Oh, you're going to leave it right there. Look out. How far are you going to take it back? Avoid the double. It's pretty good. It's okay. That's not bad, actually. Okay. That jam. Okay. That was all wow, brushing to get it. They do, uh, they do right light. out of her hand. Yeah. So the double is definitely there for somebody like Rachel, and she can slide it by there, but that goes there. Stopped at a good spot. Did it ever? <laughs> Stopped at a great oh. spot. Oh. I think that's a really good spot. <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> it is. They're not certain, but. 15 times? No. I don't really know if I brushing and heads up by the brushers. Oh. That's a teaching point, too, isn't it, Cheryl? The third has time to sit there and survey the situation while the skip's sliding down to throw. And where's plan B? Like, they wanted to freeze, but that, that, that might have been better than plan A. I don't think Rachel's trying to find a way. And it's too steep to even redirect onto that, eh? Yeah. I think so. so. This is like a third. Sorry? It's like a third to a quarter. Definitely catches it. Okay. Can you get to, like, can you get it thin down. enough that you, oh, it doesn't look like it looks like. I'm thinking if you could go over the top of that red, that back left red would count. Yeah. Sorry? We, like, it, here I always go by the 45 degree rule, so you have to hit it about there to get it there. So where's 45? And that's about there. And you're running into that red one. Okay. Through a control it's that just we've not worth it if you can't. Uh, Get a multiple. I think we can try doing the other way just one. Fork! Clean, clean. No, no. Final stone facing a couple. Okay. Rachel Holman. Yes. Coming down. Fork! Started to go on them. Now they got to get by their own top 12. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And just one red. one red it is. Manitoba still in control. Mosaic place. We've been here now since last Friday's wild card game. On this final night of round robin play, the championship round, it will take the grade eight, take it down to the Fab Four. Starting tomorrow. Those are just uh, ho hum usual numbers from Lisa Weagle. <laughs> the whole team, really, they're playing great. Just 
Their opponent's not cooperating. And it will stop right on the pin. Didn't want it that deep. We have to try and tap it a little bit. You need T-line. T-line? T-line weight. I like that weight call. You always talk about a tap, and then the thrower's thinking tap, and you end up rolling off mm. so just throw it for t-line you've got these great brushers and let them take it at the end i mean a freeze wouldn't be horrible it's close t-line gotta be here be light. Yeah. Five. somebody light. said light gotta be here Sweat light. To go. Hard, Lise. Lise, just go. that's not gonna quite get to the bump position keep going keep going Boy, it's quick down there. Yeah, you don't think it's possible when that stone crosses the no. uh, the hog line or halfway down uh, that they'd even get it to there. Looked like top eight to me in the yelled yeah. five. Good shot. Three great shots for Ontario. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you've got me looking at that. Uh, oh. <laughs> he winds up the stone. I mean, she is there by the time. Yeah, all this happened. Yeah. It, it makes me nervous on the peels. She does it. Nice throw. Slow slide. Joanne Courtney, would you ever? Say to Shannon or try to work with Shannon during the off season to get rid of that, or is it too late? No, only if it was a problem, and it, it's not. It, you know, we watched her even when she played with Jones mm -hmm. run to the final, and it, it's if you know how to ice it, she mm -hmm. as long as she repeats it the same way over and over again, which she, she does, I wouldn't do a thing. She's done it that way for so long that would take a lot of throwing to ever change it. Get this yeah. now. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. lovely. Yeah, don't, don't change that. Yeah, no, no. yes. <laughs> what were you thinking, Vic? <laughs> don't change that. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch this. <laughs> exactly, don't. Yeah. Nice shot. She made uh, a run two ends ago to go in the same direction. Rose cleaves up that yeah. center line. A little tough to draw in the intern. That's the only hiccup at this point, but the uh, Holman's got to be a little careful all of a sudden. Here. I, think I, was that close. I wasn't really watching. I, was I think it's the most I've ever seen, Vic. Okay. Uh, is it six, seven, maybe? Yeah, in the games that we've we yeah, in the games that we've seen. Wow. Yep. Yeah, and uh, I'm trying to think, there it is. That little. Yeah. Stephanie Lawton, I think, we've got, got twice in yep. games oh, we've sure. done, right? Yeah. That's right. Plan B. They can't yes. pick it out, so they're going to just stay. Okay, that's good. That might be better. If you picked it clean, yeah. you probably or you probably got everything, and then uh, Rachel goes around the corner. Yeah. Where are we going? Sorry, probably freeze on, the, on your side. And the Seven, green lights this ready. time. 
Mine's really good. No, 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 never. You're heavy. So heavy. Need to baby. It can really affect you too because yeah. now you want to let it go early oh, and, and no, if you no. kicked out the same speed, you're going to be heavy. No, you can't. You can't. This broom's off. Just Lisa. Down. No bounce at all. No, 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 no. It's got to sit. No, sit close. There. No, 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 no. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I meant by being better when Val jammed that. It, it now Rachel yeah. really can't do anything aggressively. Okay. There's a double that's assist too all of a sudden. Can I just a titch more. Yeah. Okay. All right, you got it. Firm. Oh, 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 never. Val oh. sweeting. And we'll oh. jam it. I, I thought that was the fine. The team was so, uh, it's really nice when you think about I these second year for this team and these four former skips. And when they won Manitoba, Carrie Anderson, the first thing she says, we felt yeah. so good for Val because Val, when she played in Alberta, of course, lost the final twice, so a two times silver medalist. Yeah. Then last year, yeah, yeah, they yeah, tried to get through the wild card. And then they lost right. the wild card game. So, uh, yeah, they. you mentioned how these four have really banded together now in a second season. Yeah, they very much seem like a team. They support each other. Also, no, uh, Carrie said she's very relieved not to have to play the wild card. She said that's the most stressful game, and she's played it twice. Yeah, right. Once it worked for her. She got to a final, and not so much last year. Right over, right over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, please, please, hard. Yeah, it was two years ago that she lost to uh, Jennifer Jones. Would you hit the left hand one? I think you could. Because Rachel hits the other one you're laying too. Do it either way, I guess. I don't, I kind of like giving that a go. Yeah. If you just get this Trying one and get the kick boat. out of it, that's kick pretty good. Bit, yeah. But I think it's there. Hit a third of yellow, goes on to that left hand red and takes out the other red too. Yeah, I think so. It's not falling back here, this is good. They're trying to yellow raise? Yeah, they're trying to yellow. Like onto that left hand red, red and then yeah i mean or we just know ours is yeah. fine or no taking there's both there's reds out it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably there but you could lose the shooter even if you make it it'll yeah. spin spin up and is it worth the risk three up as long as we just make sure we have a, an angle on yeah. anything that they roll in or whatever yeah. you hit the got it. one they're aiming at the red one in the middle and rolled right there's no double cuz it'll jam Yeah, the side's just curling Are you throwing more. the intern? Yeah, the in. Oh, yeah, then I hear more. Little more. Yeah, I thought it was the out. Yeah, <laughs> there. Yeah, the out's okay. running very, very straight, so you would expect that this should go a bit. Mm -hmm. Leave it there, just a little hook. Well, tomorrow is curling day in Canada, and TSN will air a one-hour special immediately following, approximately 5 o'clock Eastern time, immediately following our coverage of the 3-4 page playoff. Brian Hudrick, Bob Weeks will host, and uh, we'll have a sit-down interview with John Epping about the upcoming Briar. And uh, we'll look at Special Olympics curling. So it's curling day tomorrow in Canada. And uh, we'll have a special for you. Hope you'll stay with us right after the 3 4 page playoff. Not the shot they wanted, but it's a pretty good leave because it forces Ontario to make a nice draw into a good spot. They're going out really wide here around the corner guard on the wide side. So if they go back eight foot, there'll be a double for three. To go top eight, there might be an out turn through the hole for double for three. So you've got to be pretty precise here. 
We talked all week. The ice is great out here, but remember the one Rachel threw? She tried to uh, tick shot in the second, and it kind of died out wide, right. coming the other way. And this is out a bit further than they've been. on deck here and we're going to need your help so as they You're dance there. around that corner guard You're there. You're there. You're there. and again today you know you've got in these two and we've mentioned before there are some really wonderful brushing front ends but I think it's fair to say in uh, in Courtney and Weagle for Ontario and uh, yeah, Richard I mean, Mayor you know, you've got two of the very best that. in our country oh, and, so. it, and it can put there. points on the board that was a game saver, that shot. You missed the eight foot, it's a hit for three to go up six. This is why they didn't want to hook these mm. so that they could at least run one or the other back. I think it redirects onto it though, doesn't it? I think if he knows it. Uh, yeah. Or a little high side, obviously. High, yeah. You don't have to throw a rocket here either because if it doesn't come off yeah. perfect, you, you can't roll. Yeah, you got it. This is the turn that'll run a little straighter. Mm -hmm. So at the moment it is Ontario sitting the one. Down by three. I know. Carrie Anderson. Pressure on the brush. It's all about the line now. What do you got? Oh, and she's got it for a single, it appears. Almost pumped a yellow far enough. Worth a look. Come on, now, yeah, make me right. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. <laughs> so a single for Manitoba. It's almost odd without multiple points. Seven three, Manitoba leads it midway through. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Welcome back to Moose Jaw. The Scotties here on this Friday night. I don't know the split times there on this ice. It looks like it's running pretty fast there, but it's great to see the fans having a great time at this year's Scotties. Welcome back inside Mosaic Place. Brian Mudrick joined by Bob Weeks, and they got the band back together again, Bob, yes. and we're excited. It is year two of Curling Day in Canada as we go coast to coast, telling some great stories about the Rory game, including a visit with a four-time Briar champion who's hanging out with the Briar Tankard, and you had a chat as well with John Epping, who will be at the Briar in Kingston, Ontario this year. Sure, John Epping is going to be representing Ontario, but I had a chance to sit down with him recently and talk about his experience as being an openly gay man and also an elite curler, obviously the second ranked curler in the world right now in terms of his team. We spoke about the reaction of the curling community to his decision to come out and why he came out. I can tell you, Brian, it's one of the more powerful interviews I've ever done. It's something really that people will, I think, find very interesting. We're also going up uh, north to Whitehorse. They have a bond spiel, what, five hours east of Whitehorse. That's going to be fabulous as well. Curling and diversity, it has been fantastic. And we have another story about someone coming over and feeling Canadian because they found their way on the ice, didn't they? Yeah, Paul Hollingsworth has a great story about a woman who uh, was born in India, moved to Canada, and 20 years after that, she got her citizenship. But she took up curling recently and she says, I never felt more like a Canadian until I started curling. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. It's a wonderful story about how the face of, of curling is really changing from coast to coast. And it is a lot harder than it looks. And the bar down guys find that out <laughs> firsthand as well. We have a feature on them. So just a reminder, it is curling day in Canada right after the three, four page playoff game. And we'll tee up the one, two page playoff game as well. And you can join us at 5 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. local time, curling day in Canada as our coverage continues as we round, wrap up round robin play from the Scotties here in Moose Jaw. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. By sponge towels, nothing absorbs like it. And by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada.
so cute. Well, get a chance to be like those on the ice. Okay, now that is a takeout. That was terrific. Let's check the numbers after five and 7-3. Uh, Manitoba leads it. They're very equal. The two skips, outstanding. Rachel Holman's at 90%. Carrie Anderson at 93. Emma Miskew with a few because she's at 73%. Okay, coming around, coming around, coming around. Very nice. That was a little in turn, out turn, did you? Yeah, it was. Did you see that? Janet Burchard. Got it going one way, got it yeah, going the other. <laughs> Seven three. Manitoba leads it. Welcome back. As we go to the sixth. And once again, Ontario will have Last Rock playing the uh, Redstone. Yeah, I know you're right. Ah. Uh, I think We're that there. first three ender, you give that to Carrie Anderson, beautiful out turn double, and then the in the third end, the next three ender, you give that to the brushers. That was <laughs> yes. Add percentages to them for their sweeping on that. Not to be overlooked, a well played game by Ontario. Well, Saskatchewan scored their three in the uh, second, but have yet to score anything. S since and British Columbia is sitting one. They are and Corinne Brown's final stone is a guard in the 12 foot but it came a little bit deep so Silver Nagel trying to run make the combination red yellow red yellow. Let's get and yes. oh very nice. What a beauty that was. Giving the crowd something to cheer about here at Mosaic Place. From the Twin Rivers Curling Club in North Battleford. In though, like top 12. Yeah, I think. Yeah, she's like corner frozen to that one. Brianna Mayer like with the late roll. brush to drag it up to the corner. A couple of uh, corners there on that left side belonging to Ontario. If they can ever drag the play over there, they do have last rock. Yeah, again, Lisa Weagle setting up two corners perfectly. Nice weight. Yeah, we'll little hang around though. That's the question, and no, it just spills too far. Yeah. There you go. Whoa. Get Whoa. your fingers off. Yeah, that's clean. close. Light clean. In a 2 2 tie. Okay. And it is like Prince Edward Island right sitting the two. So that's what's facing the defending champions. Chelsea Carey, Team Canada, out of the Glencoe Curling Club in Calgary. Well, it switched around in one shot. Chelsea Carey hit to lie two on her first. But then a good shot by Suzanne Bird has left her lying too. So this is a draw needs full eight. Four and six as we wrap up play here in this uh, championship pool. And unable to defend, so you have to go back to 2014 after Rachel Holman won in 13 and then won again as Team Canada in 14 back to back. That's the last time. 
and that will be for one there. And meanwhile, Ontario goes to the uh, back four. Uh, they would have loved to have got that back, back eight foot even. Great this, try. Yeah, this wouldn't have been so easy. No. So it starts to happen, doesn't it? You, you brush one all the way down, you sliver by a guard, you bury it, and then you go, oh, I've got nothing. <laughs> yes. Yep. 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 All right, back it up. Yeah. 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 Pack it up. Yeah. With the brushing. Yeah. And yeah. the catcher. Yeah. And that will go two. So Manitoba still leading the two. Good save, Shannon. Shooting the two, pardon me. Tricky freeze here to get by the red and not over curl and hit the top yellow. Yeah, that's uh, you'd think that would be a lot of room, but with the curl, maybe not, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, the other shot I looked at, Vic, was just play the intern come around your corner. There's a double there on mm -hmm. these two yellows, so set up for your first point and then deal with the rocks in the middle because this is tough. There's, they're still yeah. almost on the corner guard right now. Got to get off it. And here comes that guard. And here comes that brushing. And here comes that stone top 12. And they'll touch it. And there's still a little finish left when it gets to the corner. Got it. That was tough. It was. I mean, they got it back a little bit behind T-line. I heard... Uh, Rachel in the second end say uh, your rocks are different and, and she had just missed Emma just yeah. missed narrow so maybe there's a bit more curl than the rest of the team and that that's really puzzling because Emma might match her cutters in practice but they don't really know till the game starts if how they compare to the other six very nice well sweeting and That'll be pushed through as well. Fine. Can't get to it now. This is tough because you're going by the yellow. I'm trying not to overcurl. Is this a spot where one of them has overcurled, and that's when you're to the conversation you're talking about, where they said those rocks are different. Mm. One overcurled, one mm. runs straight. Mm. Oh, another hard line. Get it checked. Look at this check, please. Eight. Yeah. It's Like not even like this term, like not even close. Oh, she's completely I mean, free of the rock. Probably that rock. Yeah. She touch it with her index yeah. finger at all? Yeah. yeah, but it's off here and it hasn't yeah. even got to the yeah. They'll wish they would have tested it on the other one because you wonder <laughs> then if it was that's a different option. Yeah. What, how many oh, yeah. teams go with that? It's her first one last time. Unless she threw the reverse runner. But. Oh, yeah? And they changed it. They changed it. For our game, yeah. And then we said, like, well, if the other team saw it. We weren't the featured game, though. Yeah. With, like, if the other team saw it and we weren't over it, can we rethrow it? And they're like, no, it's however it's tested. But, I mean, she clearly wasn't over the hog line. We have TV now. She's clearly not over. Yeah, it. I think she should rethrow it. Just, it's just like they said that they played with that rock and they yeah. got it too. <laughs> like, it's a problem with the rock. Oh. I've never had a hog line violation in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, I think you should go rethrow it. That's nice of. Uh, are you Team Manitoba? Absolutely, to uh, offer, it. but it's up to the official and then the ice like, technician. Just look oh. it over and the lights aren't blinking. Well, well, just, just, turn off. just go take it back and rethrow it. Why does it flash red like that? I don't know. Oh, hello. Just, yeah. All right, while we have a moment, let's go over to uh, sheet. 
be and uh, the two other teams that we will see in the final four Northern Ontario wild card and uh, a chance here for a couple for Jennifer Joe. Well a chance for three for Jennifer really set up by a triple by Caitlin Laws on her second stone. Krista not able to make a double on either of hers so nose hit for three. I think I'd be able to see that one up there and you the would. Yeah but I didn't three it is and again we know from the last rock draw to the button and those draws are all important throughout the event for the draw in a game. They keep all those uh, distances. We know that Team Wildcard and Jennifer Jones will definitely be in the one two game. We just don't know whether it will be one or two. As a co ice technician, Dave Merklinger, and the chief umpire. We are going to give you a refill on that screen. Do you want us to change the screen? I think it's a problem with the bottom. Yeah, I think we're yeah, if the look is getting changed. Yeah, the I guess just come watch. Okay. Yeah, because the other problem too, we've seen this before. The ice sits and it mm -hmm, sits and it sits mm -hmm. and it changes. We. Yes. You don't want too long of a delay. You no, know, you're affecting eight people when that happens. Mm. Yep. And the uh, crowd is appreciative of that decision as well. And. No, no. Compliments to Manitoba for saying, "Yeah, we we think you should re-throw it." Okay, different rock. Now bite spots four, just on the inside. So the official will move to the hog line. Okay. Yep. Those of you who are watching, not old enough, this is the way it used to be done. <laughs> but the. Official used to sit by the board and look across two sheets of ice. Again, just a great carry by Weagle and Courtney. Such an incredibly tough shot to, to skinny that top one and stay on the high side. That was not a hog line. No. But like that's not the normal. Yep, 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 there, line. We're both straight. Always, always Please, please, please. Gotta go. Go, 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 Try to hang around, Cheryl, or is it a little bit dangerous? Yeah, I don't know if you need to. No. It's always seems up. to be that. Yeah. It only can help the other team. Little mark, yeah. There we go. If I was home and I'd want rocks and play anywhere. Well, you say quite often, Russ, if you're not sure what to do, just turn around and look yeah. at the scoreboard. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yes. that'll tell you. Yes. Mayor. Yeah, go, 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 go. Good. Nice shot. No mistake there. Okay, so you're. Cheryl, you know you're in. Yeah, you want to win, of course. You know, put yourself into the 1 2 game. Nice. Thanks. Cut. But win or lose here, you're also trying to set your up for what's coming up tomorrow, whether you be in that 1 2 or 3 4. And it's about. The focus, it's the execution, it's all those little things that you want to take forward to tomorrow because you know you're going yeah, to be playing tomorrow. Shot. Right. And and for Manitoba, they just came off a loss and that was you know, that was difficult. To bounce back, that's good. Take some good positive shot making from this game. The ice might have changed a little bit. You're on another sheet. It's just the little things the brushers can talk about what the ice changed like at the half. There's so many opportunities to keep learning because it really is to learn for that semi, that final. Five. Easy early. Oh, six. Oh, oh. There it is. Yeah. Five, six. And it never oh, hurts to send a message to a team that mm. you'll be playing again. Yeah, that's what I always wanted to do is make these guys earn it. If they're going to beat me, they've got to work at it. And let them know that we're, uh, we're still in this event. Gotta get under. Go, Joe. Go, 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 go. And under they go. Great I don't think they have any of it. That rock, if anything, under curls every time. 
It's just a little bit straighter than my other arm. Okay. Wait, are you I'm aiming for? I'm just like back four. I think that spot's getting straighter too okay. as the week goes yeah. along. So this is a tricky one. You don't even have to move it an inch yeah, or two. Yeah, you could throw more than that. Like yeah, back. like a back eight. Do you yeah. like right there with the back eight? Yeah, I like so. Then it's bit. just not as precise. Yeah. Here. Yeah, you'll get the curl. Like you probably have a sliver. You guys just like back eight? Yeah. yeah. Just gotta move just, it six inches. Yeah. So are you thinking like a 14.5? Yeah, well, you've been giving yeah, us these shots all week. Yeah, 14.5 to 14.8. Okay. That's a nice uh, message. What you've been giving us all week. Uh, speaks a lot to how her draw weight has been, her feel. We've seen her make so many of these just soft touch taps. Not midweight can be hard for two things, putting the broom down, making sure you don't overthrow it. So that's the message they're trying to send, isn't it? If you haven't beaten them for a while. And up to it, did they hold it? Oh, they did, and they tap it back. Very, very nice. Like that's just dead on what you wanted. Is the uh, is it a, a double there? Almost the same throw. I think they're going to try and play across the face. I don't know that they're playing the double. You don't think so? I don't know. It's there. The outturn double's there for sure. Where do you have to hit this? Oh, yeah, Better. that's what they're playing. Yeah, I think so. I that think same so. throw as before. Are we able to back it off? Okay. okay. Nice. Oh, How boy. This it? is, uh, what, a uh, eighth? Okay. Eighth to a quarter. Yeah. Basically, you hit it right where that throw. center line is. Use that as your guide. That's pretty close. Okay. This be a big deuce. Again, this team has played well. well Holman throwing 91%. Well, no. But all they've been able to generate yes. is three points. Marshall. Courtney, this is about holding it up now. Staying with it. Got one. Get it out of there for two. Brilliant. Well, the last two shots, I mean, Manitoba. Gary Anderson did the best that she could do, and this is how you're treated for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, as you saw there, the uh, ice crew has come in. It's like a little pit stop in racing. Come in and change the tires. Well, they came in and changed two handles. So that should uh, correct any problems. Well done by everybody, well handled by everyone concerned. Ontario gets the two and six, and now it is. Manitoba once again with Last Rock. They lead by two as we pick up play here in the seventh. Okay, over and stop, stop. A 92% Rachel Holman. It's one of the best games she's played all week because of the degree of difficulty she's had. Still down two, but what a great double. Really nice tick on Brand's first one. Trying it again on the second. Yeah, the way it's going here, the Ontario catching up again, this would be massive to make this one. If you could ever get the blank, even if you're forced to one in the eighth end, you're three up playing nine. It's close, Russ. Perfection. Love to steal if you're homing. 
course would be kind of second best, but without any center guards, it's uh, those two ticks make a massive difference. Yeah, you saw Rachel sweep that second red one, then stop, because you realize it wasn't going out. So you leave it there, so you might be able to draw around that. So that's the only rock we're looking right at. It's the only rock you could actually hide and be in the in the rings. And this is not the ice, like you look at these peels, this is not the ice you're gonna get any nose hits uh, unless it's really <laughs> thrown poorly. Because it runs so nice and straight on the hit wipe. Yeah, it's a rare combination. You can bury just about anywhere yeah. and the speed's good, yeah. so it's good for finesse. But the hits yeah, run poker straight and it's good for hitting. trying to move it, it over okay. left and right of the center line, trying to create a different look for Manitoba. I know what you're saying. If you do it every time, it's okay. But there's, you almost think because she does that, it actually would. She pop the stone a little bit. You know that because it's that this way, and then it's a snap release that she wouldn't play with the handle. Yeah, no, I. It's uncanny yeah. how she can throw it straight through. I very rarely see her set it. A lot more players are throwing with a straight handle, bringing the rock back dead straight, not counter turning it, and that's basically what she's doing. So that allows you to get out onto the broom better, I think. But then she counter turns it to throw it like the old style way. She just counter turns it a little later than the rest of us. An update for you. Northern Ontario up by a couple and they are sitting on the ball. The shot rock belongs to Team Wildcard. So what are they? What can they get here? Well, an opportunity after scoring three to give up three right away to Krista McCarville. Jennifer tried to play that out turn draw Barry on both of her shots, both times having good weight and both times not being buried. Close. Notice how brave I was yep. there, wasn't yep. committing to anything. Yeah, you were all over yep. that. What does she have? Yep. <laughs> it's Whoa. right. Yes. Krista McCarville. Yes. Yep, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay. Go, 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 go. And sit down, and yes, they are. Three it is. Three reds. Three reds, yeah, so you get it, and you give it right back, 10 to five. So Northern Ontario leads job, wild card there. If it holds, that would yeah. be a second loss for Jones. In our game, Manitoba leads Ontario. If this holds, that would be a second loss for Ontario. So you'd have wild card, Ontario, Manitoba, all at two losses, which would mean they would go to the last rock draw over the course of the entire event. Manitoba would be one, wild card two, and Ontario three, setting up a three, four page playoff with Northern Ontario. So going into this final draw now, this is the way this, the standings are presently. But again, if they end the way they, the scoreboard sits right now, Ontario from there first would go down Basically, Manitoba and Ontario would switch places, and it would be Manitoba, wild card, 1 2, Ontario, Northern Ontario, 3 4. It's funny how it unfolds. Rachel Holman looked like arguably the best team or second best team here all week. They're 9 and 1. They're curling 90% as a team, and they could drop from first to third. Now, here comes those wide corners trying to sneak this by after Ontario went around. And very nice. Controlled weight. Well, just a reminder, tomorrow is curling day in Canada, and we will have a one-hour special for you. Immediately following that three, four-page playoff, approximately 5 p.m., Brian and Bob will be here, and... They've already mentioned the John Epping interview. Also, 
we will have for you a very special announcement. Curling Day in Canada tomorrow, approximately 5 p.m. Eastern Time, or immediately following our 3 4 page playoff. Right on the nose. Yeah, the shock sometimes doesn't finish. Okay. So well, I wouldn't say straightened up, but didn't finish curling as much as they thought. It's just a brilliant shot. It was tough to get there as, it, as we talked about getting a wee bit straighter around those corners. Just perfect speed. Say, Joe and Courtney, we gotta go. They gotta go for line and it sounds like Wade. Definitely losing a bit of line. Those are so hard. And it will over curl. So the shot stone still belongs to Manitoba. Just perfect weight on that one. Yes. No, I think it, it's whether or not we try and stick around. Like blank is good, but deuce is. True, Just yeah. The same shot, it it's worth a try, Cheryl. You either yeah. hit it dead on and go for your blank or sit two. You okay with sitting two? No, I, I guess if Rachel freezes three. perfect, you're not happy. It's just that's, like a 10, you don't have to And you and I both know that's one of the hardest shots. Yeah, you might get three that way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we kill it yeah I know sure. this is yeah. uh, this is the seventh, and you'd like to take the last rock to eight. What will be wrong with just? Is, are they going to just split the rings? They're going to. They're. They're actually going to hit it because. Uh, okay. It, it's. You, you could draw your shot rock, but you're, they're actually going to hit it. Sit two. Try to. The blank's probably better. Oh. Second thoughts here. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh. Peel. Well, they're they're going to nose it say? now, Vic. I, I said the blank is probably better. Not true. Better. Yeah. Okay. But we still got to stick your shooter. Yeah. You actually could just sit too, couldn't you? Just draw. Mm-hmm. What turn am I throwing? I mean, if they draw the other side, what does what does Ontario do? Probably freeze. They move the red one an inch or two and freeze in there. So if your if your other one's closer, you'd get your two. Take into eight's probably better. Okay, yeah. There you go. Okay. I don't know. Well, we got to save one of them. The yeah. I mean, getting a couple here. Is, <laughs> yeah, that's a big be. lead. Yeah, sorry. That's I should okay. have said that before. Just nose it you, there. You know, okay. if there's a steal in eight, it's game on. No wrong call, though. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the skip coming out in uh, foul sweeting. And she <laughs> yeah. actually apologized, you know, because once the decision is made, you're supposed to. Just remain quiet. Let it go. Mm -hmm. It's good that Carrie went back down, talked about it. Sometimes she'll sit in the pack. I thought she was just going to throw. She's like, what am I throwing? Clean. Clean. No. Yes. That decision will never really hurt you. No. So, but if we blank, even just scoring an eight is good. Yeah. Sorry, I should have done that quicker when you were down here. Let's go out turn normal. Out turn normal. Okay. British Columbia sitting two or three? Three, I believe. Saskatchewan went around and tried to freeze on top on their first one, but she rolled off a little bit, and Corinne Brown able to remove that stone to lie those two grouped at the back of the four on her second. So this is a draw, needs the forefoot. Curling no, T-line. Robin Silvernagel. No backing, no backing. Good, good, one yellow. And what it is. One yellow. Well, and even by doing this, uh, you've effectively given yourself two hammers to Holman's one. Right. 
they're they're really only their only chance to score would be with the hammer chances of stealing with the ticks that are being made it's tough ice Want to hang around now? You've played for the blank. Rachel Holman finds herself down by two. On this final evening of round robin play championship pool, we already know the four teams that will advance to the page playoffs starting tomorrow. Manitoba trying to uh, lock up first place. If they can hold on here, Team Wildcard Jennifer Jones loses right next door. They would have first place. Manitoba leads by a couple, and they do have last run. Good games by both leads. Mayer just made a lovely tick to open up the center line. Trying it again now with her second. Kircher trying to help this over. Just enough to touch it over. And doesn't. Touches it on the way by. Still helps. It's off the center line. And, uh, three in a row before that one. Yeah. Sorry, I was sliding a little wide, so I threw it left to hope okay. it would curl, but I like trying left because it was off the line, too. Yeah. Well, that gives Ontario a little bit of hope. Gotta go. Gotta go for separation. Gotta get separation. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Close. Oh. Nice way, Joe. You, you don't hear it a lot, and uh, maybe others do it, but that kind of thing I'm impressed with. We, you know, we talk about all the, the, the players, and we've noticed, you know, Joe and Courtney will walk down with the opposing stone just to get a yeah. sense of, yeah. of speed. Yeah. This is a Shannon Burchard. But engaged in every shot. So there they are, Miss Q and uh, and Weagle. We've got to get the separation. We've got. They, I mean, they talk about the eventual outcome even as the stock uh, the stone has come down the ice. They do. And we watched. Remember the other game we were watching them, Vic, and they came down mm -hmm. to make sure when Emma and Rachel were talking, they knew exactly where Plan A was for the stone, where they could be as Plan B. They don't stand down at the other end very often. And they don't get in the way of the conversation, but they're there to make sure they do their job. And more than once, Russ, this week in talking to the coaches and, and the players, communication. We've got to communicate. We've got to let them know. Yes. You know, we saw it with Saskatchewan on one occasion the other night, where every and even their coach said. Everyone was yelling, but nobody was listening. <laughs> yeah, that's just it. We, as coaches, you you want your teams to communicate, but in that case, it kind of was uh, self-inflicting. No, just the one, clean. Watch okay. the red on the corner. That's it's the one there. Okay. And it doesn't quite spill in. That's fine. Ooh. That's fine. One again. Yep. Okay. Up to speed here. Yeah. No choice. You need to keep guarding until you make the move. Go around it. You'll barely be shot rock if you're buried. If they're throwing up one more guard. They are. Just a one. No line. Looks a little one, bit two. wider than the previous one, two. two. No, we're just no, the guard. No, high one. No, no, no. High two. No line at all, Joe. You gotta go. Right over, hard. Hard, Joe. <laughs> hard. Hard, Joe. Hard all the way. Go. Well, she's getting everything out of that. She can. But that length's a problem, though. I'm not sure why they wanted a one. I guess if they guard it perfectly, it, it's That's beneficial. Yeah, right. Would you ever ignore if you're Manitoba, Cheryl? 
No. You have to rip them, do you? You do. Okay. Yeah, it's the, like the, the, really the high one isn't the issue. I think she's the only thing she's concerned about is the jam yes. on that yeah. tight one. I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, that's why they're going high one. Yeah, the jam's definitely there, but it, they are leaving the dangerous one. You could try the double peel here. What starts to get concerning for Manitoba is you've been throwing hits for a lot of hands. And, you know, if yep. Holman's team can yep. sink yep. something yep. good and you're forced yep. to a draw, yep. Yep. make sure they're communicating yep. on the pass. Nice. nice. Good. Good call. <clears throat> nice. Good Rachel pointing out front again. Same way. Yeah. Gives a little I like this call. You want to give Manitoba the least amount of chances at shot stone. So throw one more, get them to waste another stone. Then you go around and cross your fingers. Two. Coming down. No. One and a half. Two. It's good. Done. Nicely done. Do you ever Good. like this, Tom? No. We I think it's a single mm -hmm. for now. Talking about drawing. I think we still peel. First all is to still peel. Thank you. Yeah. I like the peel all day. Al Sweeting. Yep, 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 Good. I know this is the eighth, but it has a tenth end kind of feel to it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. At this point in time, they're just playing the odds. Two up, keep peeling. I assume Rachel's going in now. Most she'll ever steal as a single, and you still have control of the game. I'm sorry, Kathy. You just keeps it talking and talking <laughs> and talking. Northern Ontario leads it by five. Shot Rock belongs to Northern Ontario with the last coming up for her at Jen Jones. Well, that biter that you see, Krista McCarville made a double on her final stone and left her shot stone guarded. So Jennifer has to play off her own, hit it on an angle to get shot and hopes to roll her shooter in enough for two. Angle it back, got it, and now will that settle in time? And oh, there's coming back. No, it's out there. So it's just the one. It's too much weight. Yeah. What'd you get? Round they go. Here comes Holman and Ontario, and they'll suck it around to sit there, top four. Very nice. It's a really good shot. They tried to get, they tried to not go behind the tee line, but get as much separation from this run because it's carry strength. Yeah. Just roll on. Yeah. Okay. Do I grade there with like normal? This, uh, normal? this is eerily yeah. similar to the uh, Manitoba game against uh, Wildcard, where Wildcard coughed up a four to, rip to uh, Jennifer, then played exceptionally well. Gambled again, coughed up a four, played exceptionally well. They curled something like 90% and lost badly. It's the same kind of situation here. Team Holman's played great. Oh, have they ever? 91% right now, and Manitoba's at 89. And the score is pretty lopsided. Carrie Anderson and her first. Ontario hitting the shot stone. Just peeling the guard. They're trying to roll in, as it, but the key was peel, but they were hoping to stay there. Maybe a little less weight would have made some more sense there, but the, the, the key was get rid of that thing. Good throw. Thanks. Either guard or sit too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, was Impressive good. game by both skips. Really uh, is when you think about it. And as we mentioned, team play 91 for Ontario and uh, 89 for Manitoba. Player numbers are brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. 
that or guard it? I think I would take the guard. Yeah, I would yeah. too. Just they haven't thrown it. We so talked about it a mm -hmm. few rocks ago. Manitoba hasn't thrown okay. draws for a while. Like we're kind of flirting between these lines here. Is this way easier? Yeah, we could do that way. I haven't seen one. Okay. Yeah, the hit's not that tough, so Never you're we, probably three down. If we know the line for the draw better, we do that. We haven't thrown the draw this way either, have we? We haven't seen the draw no, either. No, we haven't seen that either. They're all going to be a guess. Do you, like, keep it there with control of them? Okay. To try and stick around. Yeah. I think we can watch it come up. Yeah, I think it'll curl. It's been running, though. Okay, you're trying I to force, correct, uh, Cheryl? Mm-hmm. All are. right. Okay, so you've... But. You got shot stone. Right. Uh, second shot is back eight. Why wouldn't you try to guard your uh, yeah. your shot rock and force them to draw for a single? That's what I would play, and, oh. and for a few reasons. Okay. Uh, because Manitoba has been throwing a lot of hits. Um, she's a great hitter, so the chances of her missing, rolling out too far on one of these, I don't see it. And they've thrown for Ontario that guard probably three, four times. They know the path, the line, and Rachel just threw it. I think you could get a steal out of it. Are you surprised they're doing this, Sir Russ? Yes, a little bit. Okay. A little bit. It, again, it's not wrong. You've got the force. You get a couple. The next end, you're going to make it interesting for sure. And roll it in a bit, they do. Nice roll. So anything uh, high side here is a, just as playing the out turn, it's a steal. Attempting to throw like a board weight here, a weight that you can't roll across the top of the second Ontario stone. It makes this a lot easier. Then you can cheat on the inside and use that as a, a catcher. I assume that's what they'll do, throw like maybe a 10 and a half, an 11. Don't throw it hard enough. You can hit that and roll across the top of the back red. Interesting to see if the the old Carrie Anderson comes out here on this, throwing a lot of weight as she typically did at one time. Richard Mayer. Now that's what they practice. That's what all that practice in Gimli with Patty Vucic was all about. That hack weight shot to make that eight five Manitoba. Lead. That's where we are. We're here at Mosaic Place on this Friday night, winding up the round robin portion of play. This is the championship round. We know the four teams that will be in the page playoff starting tomorrow. These two teams, Manitoba, Ontario. We know as well, Northern Ontario team wildcard, Jennifer Jones. We just don't know how they're going to settle out. Yes, we do. Northern Ontario will be fourth. The team from Thunder Bay. And take it. And it's so important to get into that one-two game. Yes, we do also know that Team Wildcard, because of Last Rock Draw, will be one or two. Because of that second chance you get. Okay. Yeah, so kept play away from there for Let, it lets you play loose uh, in that game most certainly mm. gives you a chance to go out there and just throw. So an update for you, 6-5, Saskatchewan leads it after they got the single in eight. And the final stone coming up for BC, Kamloops, Corinne Brown. And she is a very small area to draw to. She made a double on her first, leaving herself shot on the lid. Robin Silvernago came down and is in that area. She is not shot, but blocks a lot of the area that Corinne would like to draw two for two. The Canadian Junior Champion of 2013 making a first appearance. This is an entire rookie team. Got to come down to their own. Oh, just oh, no, that little rub. Absolutely the rubs and just spins off that much. Oh, there you can see. Yeah. Great weight. Yeah, you can see the blue band under that yellow stone. So a single it is to tie BC. Oh, great <laughs> try. <laughs> yeah, what an effort. Just overcurled. Yeah, just touch the yellow. Got it going. Four. 
That team has been impressive. Yes. M, take it, M. Hard Both BC and Saskatchewan coming in at five losses. They were eliminated earlier today with the win by Northern Ontario. Team Canada winding up against Prince Edward Island. One, two, three, red, final stone. This is Prince Edward Island's Suzanne Burt. And really challenged to get something going. This end on her final. Chelsea hit and stuck. And that leaves the three that you see needs four foot. Really nice coming around by Joanne. Now a chance you come down to that top, that shot stone, top four. Yeah, lock it on the corner. Mm -hmm. Let me know the weight, guys. What a light! Four. Hard then. Line's great. Light. Three, four, three. Days. Says Cheryl, will it get the other red? I think it just might jam. Like I think it'll touch it. You think it does a double? I'm not. You know, obviously a little high sighted. I think it jams a little dead on. I think it might double it off. That'd be a good two for one. Nearly touched it. Hit it thicker. Good try. So that stone there, that red stone still the shot rock one. belonging to Ontario. Yeah, I didn't want it to just chunk into it and leave two in the house. Yeah. Still, so hair thicker. Maybe it would have ticked that one. I don't know. I don't know if it was there. Freeze right to it. Okay. Okay. Top 12. Could come here too. I don't mind that. I think it drags, but we could try. In. No, I mean like it's an auto. Oh, like, I see. Where two. where Val left her shooter is yeah. tough for Rachel. We yes. Can try this. I like that. Okay, I like that. Just there. um 11 back line. Just hard for them to get us out if we're here. Okay. They could just kind of hit and roll and sit four though. Yeah. What if I try to like just off nose the top one? I think then it's the same thing. One less rock to hit out. Do you want to use the time? Yeah. Can I call it time? Sure. Turn out. This is kind of funny because it just popped into my mind, those staggers. There's one guy in the world that'll remember that that's not good is uh, their coach, Marcel Rock. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, they coughed up that uh, okay, to Mark Daisy, the Briar final. So, right in their yeah, heyday when they're here, about to win three or yeah, four in a row. Not even close to double. Yeah. So you could go around there. I just like the freeze here is good. Just they hit roll. we won't be shot. Like we won't three. even be. We might not even be fourth shot. Yeah. What are we thinking? We could go back here. Yeah. I mean, we're we're going for the deuce, right? And maybe a three. Yeah. So you're coming around. It's just they're that three is always. We're gonna chase All their that, right? Are in good spots, right. No problem. Right. Do you want to move that three back to here? They hit and roll. Now you're you're plugging the double on yours. Well, no, it drags. Like if they hit and roll under, this drags. Yeah. You and could then try. we can freeze on this one. You can try. 
You might set up a double if you don't get under. Like these rocks really suck for us right now. I know. The drag's there and the slash is there, so we can never. They gotta make so the shot. So if you come over no here, rush. that's the thing, right? You I mean you're talking about everything? Like and she says it all sucks that. for us, but until you get it there and they try, you don't know that for a fact. Well, the other thing they yeah. didn't talk about is this. You could do that, Cheryl. Not easy, but you roll there. Then you've got access around those rocks that way, as because what they're worried about is if they go around this way, these will drag a little bit towards that. So if you open it up, little hack weight tap and roll buried. They're going to be all close together, but it's a red raise. Yeah. Options. If it hangs. The only thing with like, that, I would worry about it yeah. not rolling enough and leaving a double right. on the reds. Right, yeah. but they're kind of running out of it. Yeah. It's, they're worried already. <laughs> where, where Val left her shooter is brilliant, too, because yeah. it's, yeah. they can run that back. Yes, back yes. I'm going to tap it back. I'm not sure. This is our two in a row. Okay. I'm just letting you know in advance. This should come up. So, okay. Do you like this ice? I think they are trying to tap and roll buried. Do you like this? It must be what they're trying. I think so. so I heard back 12. That's what they wanted. Backing. Two and three. You ever like that at all? Or two and three? Yeah, it kills that stagger at least. Yeah. My first bell was a chance to try. Does it kill the stagger? Yeah. I really like that I think call. So. The uh, hit the yellow at the top, mm -hmm. and, or or uh, sit three by hitting the buried one. Half buried one. That's yeah, tough. It'll push our other yeah, one I think you hit this yeah. yellow one. I do too. Get rid of the stagger. All right, Kathy. Let's update this game. Northern Ontario. We know they will finish fourth. Team Wildcard will be in that one-two somewhere. And this is uh, there, she facing. Looks like two. Right? She the is. Last? She is. She was facing three on her first. They called a timeout. They elected to try to tough double. She just scattered the rocks. Got one out. And so Jennifer went around, but is deep. And so eight foot will do for shots. Yep, you're on it, you're on it. And down to it, and that's a single, and that's a win for Northern Ontario. 11-6 is the final. And so Northern Ontario will finish with a record of eight and three. And Wildcard and Jones will go to nine and two. Well, it's worked for uh, Holman's team. They're going to have a chance at a deuce. At least, because the one's half buried, and this one's going to be totally. Yes, hard, hard. Sorry, I died. Sorry. It's good, Em. We were grinding. Yeah. Yeah. Follow or chase and roll, whichever you're seeing. And I always have an open. Are you thinking like that uh, 13 or hack? Hack? Yeah, hack. I think you got half of this. I think she could see from a hack about mm -hmm. half. Actually, if you do ever make this, you roll right over underneath. And bury hair more. It's tough to follow Joe's rocks. Yeah. Hack? Yeah, you got it. Should be able to hold it so again, there's a hair less curl now yeah, down here. to the corners. Wrecking is a, a better play than flashing. Let it hang! Let it hang! Let it hang! fingers were playing with the handle Bobby. on the release. Whoa. Her Get first. Get it! Hard! Oh. 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 
Kirchert. Trying to yes, touch it go. on the way go. by. Go. Maybe a thin double come across. Oh. oh, how very nice is that? Good line call. Wonderful brush. Shannon Burchard. Yeah, thank Val on that one. Really good call. Brilliant call. Or that. <laughs> Definitely straighter there. Is there a good oh, is bumper? 11 3. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, back butt. Great. Now you have to try and manufacture another deuce. Yes. She's got a chance here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Behind T. But yes. Should be close. They just saw this with Emma's, albeit. Backline weight still gives them a sense of how where they need to put the broom down. Life, guys. Wait, life. Wait all the way to <laughs> the room. Line screen. Tons of room. Line screen. No line. Line. no line. No line. No. We're to it. Lisa Hart. No, 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 Quite. It's it's, yeah. it's makeable right here. You could because yeah. you can hit a thick okay. half of this. It'll spin. You can see more than a thick half. I think so. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Should have been perfect. Yeah. Right here. You got it. Heel. Yep. yep. Right at it. The hard part now, if this is made, it's. Uh, You've almost got to play the blank, I think, Cheryl. I think you do. You just fly out and you play the double. Can you can you make, make that double and roll out? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Boy, getting forced to one would be a good. No. Nope. Yep. 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 Final stone, Harry Hi. Anderson, Hi. Manitoba. Hi. Again, version. Hi. Hi. Oh, goodness. Hi. Wow. <laughs> That is really good. I just figured they'd splash them all out of there. Nice shot. Nice force. Didn't get by by a pile. In danger of being forced, obviously, here for a second time in this one. And drawing down to it, quiet tap back for a single. Ontario picks up one, but they trail by a couple. And the roar of the crowd is for a win for Saskatchewan in their last game as they pick up a 7 6 win to finish 6 and 5. Robin Silvernagel and the team from the Twin Rivers in North Battleford go out a winner. So Ontario forced to the one for the second time in the game. Manitoba playing it very, very well, doing to them what they, not many teams have been able to do. And also when you consider the threes put on the board, Ontario had been very good defensively, not to give up the big numbers that they have tonight. We've already had a couple of finals and uh, 
Here is the third and it's a win for the defending champions Chelsea Perry and Team Canada as they win 5 3 over Prince Edward Island and both those teams will finish with records of 5 and 6. Tell you. Oh, you got. Okay, no, we got it. I hope. It's funny yeah. since you pointed it out. I just. <laughs> You're fixated. <laughs> I'm like, I had to watch her get to there. Just the one game in play. Three others are over. Likely. I know. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. And away it goes. 8 6 Manitoba leads it as we play in 10, trying to uh, lock up first place in a game that really has. There's the two. I mean, you see it. One and three. That's the difference, those threes. But when you're talking about the skips, look what they've thrown. But every player. Weagle 98, Courtney 94, Miscue 83. On the other side, Mayer 87, Burchard 89, Sweeting 92. Wonderfully played game, ladies, and enjoyed it. The game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official copy of Curling Canada. Just want a straight tap it back? I think we have to roll it. That rough shot. Okay, well, either one, we just gotta try not to leave a double is all. Okay. Could throw How often one more does dart, a too. team curl 92% like and okay. two down coming home without the hammer? Yeah, <laughs> it just does not happen. Back eight, eh? Yep. That's, you know, it's tough against this hitting team at that three, the very first three. You can look at it both ways. Team scores a three against you early. You got a lot of time to come back, but the team's playing 92 percent, and that's tough to come back at even when you are. Joe, you gotta go for a piece. Gotta go for a piece. Whoa! 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 Lisa, 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 hard. And roll it over on top. What a great call! Tick yours buried and almost rolled frozen. So, yep. so smart. Checking over her shoulder just to make sure. To watch where this peel goes. He can't even peel it towards that red one because it's queued up to jam. I assume they're just playing the straight peel here. Timeout called by Ontario. Well, she's making that. Marcel Rock. Yeah, I think they go easy. I, I think up here, they don't go easy. If we just freeze here, 
So we want to protect from this from this one hitting and rolling in, right? I like think one freeze, more guard. We freeze and they blast. I think one more guard they peel, and I think on your last on your you, you, they're not going to leave that there. Just and on keep your, guarding this and then hit and roll. And over. on the last one, lay three. So, last one, tap tap. Okay. On my last. Well, or if you think she's going to do something earlier, but. <laughs> Can we ask her? <laughs> no. You think she, she's jamming there if she comes after it? So uh, they're going to have to. You just want to guard this one. Even if I'm a little closer like to the center. Pardon? Kind of cheap like I, I, yeah. Right. Definitely don't want to overcurl. No. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It's hard to here. Okay. Just a three. Two, three. Yep. Same line. Hey, you would have got there. And we can't emphasize enough game. here how important the game is. We already know the team wild card, Jennifer Jones, will be one or two. But at this point in time, we know she'll be in that second game. The winner here gets one. The loser goes to three. And that's a big difference. And it's a big difference, huge that's difference, amazing. because that three four offers you no second chance. One game. One game. Winner moves. And one leaves. Nice so. call by Marcel here. Sorry, Vic. The, uh, guarded up. You assume the red peel would be made Lines on the open rock. You can down. sink another one with Rachel's first one, and then you've got two buried. Looks heavy. Down. Mine's okay. Do you need to finish? We're just just two. Easy, easy. Yep. Yeah, two. Yep. Yeah, gotta go. Hard. Hard. Good. Spot down. Really halted. Hey. Shot. Yeah. Pretty good. Good. I think the peel is pretty good. Still care. I could peel the back one. I think this leaves us the most options. I think it does, yeah. Because yeah, if that's we fine ever too. were to go after that one, they lock another one yep. in there. We're drawing against two. They didn't look at the back. You could actually get the back red one. You could play this peel with the other turn. I think I'm Val did, Russ. Yeah, so I did somebody say, oh. Yeah, she said I could pick the back one. That would work. Yep. That would yep. really yep. work. That would win you the game yep. if yep. you got the back one. Yep. Well, that doesn't bode well for Ontario, does it? They need a nice. steal of two. And uh, Manitoba has yet to give up multiple yeah. points. Yeah, like, this one was open. Yeah. Like we're if you'd to... pick the back one, you'd have a wide open hit. I thought you yeah. did. Yeah. The draws aren't curling very much. They all seem to rush a bit, but they've got lots of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't think they've used the timeout either, have they? Yeah. I haven't seen Patty Boots out on the ice yet. Nope. So they still it's have two 90 second timeouts. Well, I threw it at one point. Like I was coming in this way with like. Um, I was back four, and I was trying to freeze on a rock with this T-line, and we, it just curled up at the end. And then I ticked, and I went right beside it. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was careful, and we were about here. Okay, I think we can hold it here. This. Rage, are we, like, that looks like, here? this looks like minimum. We, we're just, draw, like, just little tap, Yeah, right? top button. Okay. Little tap. Edge of four. Okay. Looks, looks tight. Is that an indication, then, Cheryl, that the ice is straightening up a bit? I'm gonna assume everything's up. No, I, I think it's an indication maybe of that and also just Rachel's release. Okay. She's got so a little, little a straighter pattern. release. Yeah, it's kind of top button weight. Any other option would be go back That's eight buried. There so. is a red double, but it's a very flat red it's double. hanging, we can hook it. Yeah. Same weight I've been I think yeah. so. Rachel Holman, her first. Seven. Hard. Six. Trying to set something up to Hard. force Manitoba maybe to draw against Six. two or three. Hard. Hard Cannot cross it. Whoa, 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 eight. Whoa. Oh, right now. Not on it. Going through. Uh oh, pull it or. And they okay. will. They'll hit the hole. I think that was just more the brusher looking sorry, at, uh, or sorry, the line caller looking at the amount of ice and thinking they had to go early, yeah. but okay. that held really well. Even just this is, yeah, thin, you know the spot. Like that's really thin. In turn, yeah. which gives you the most Thanks. action, most spin. Do you if, ever just do this? if you go like that, they could actually yeah. all fly. Do we ever do? 
We know here. And then she has to do this. She does that, then you're blocked yeah. and have to make a double. I think, but yeah, there will be a double. Just play this and I just like this. You got in. some options. Okay. Yeah. You've There's got no hole. No. So, no. Yeah. Hit as thin as you can. Even if you flash this one, get the back one. Rachel's got a tap to sit three, and there's an extremely easy really double. Yeah. All pee it's under here? pressure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah let's do it here. Extremely easy double from up here. All right, you got it. Really thin, you get them all. A little short around the world, around the horn. Yes. Uh, yep. No. Oh, oh. First. Yeah. Trying to end it now if she can. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie yeah. Anderson, yeah. Mayer. Yeah. 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 One, two, bang. Nice. Oh, she did touch them all. Yeah, it's really close for Sean. I'm not sure. Great try. A little bit thinner. Yeah. Nice shot. Very nice, Sorry. though. I can hit it high side. <laughs> no, from, from there, from that angle, that looks like it is red. So it is Ontario. Like a hair more rice? Okay, that makes the biggest difference in the world, Vic, because yeah. otherwise you can't play the shot. Press center. Okay. You like that same weight? Yeah. yeah. You would be coming around buried and not sitting two, and the game would be over. So coming around and drawing to what? The one of the just behind the T line, back edge of the four? Yeah, you've got to sink as much okay. as you can and stay in the four foot. Yeah, so that's, you won't have it all completely buried back there. There's not enough space, but. Needs to steal two for a tie. Wait only. Okay, hard back four. Wait only. Courtney on the right, legal on the left. SQ calling line. Queen, Joe, Queen, Queen. Oh, get around that one. Oh, get there. Don't slide too far, and they'll settle down. <laughs> Just <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. You couldn't do that. You could no. be better. Haired that top yellow. And they're uh, calling a timeout. Yeah. Yeah. Northern Ontario. Krista McCarville. Fort William and Thunder Bay will that play in that 3-4 tomorrow. But who will they play is still the question. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking nose on just, yellow is fine. Yeah, that's yeah. the yeah. simplest shot. Just exactly. nose your own. Yeah. Even a little high side, because you don't want to miss it, obviously. That way, it's definitely going to jam, but it should kick out of here, I would think. I see the out. Yeah. Yeah. She can hit half the rock. She can make it nose half the rock. Lots of room. Yeah, she can do much. And Noah's makes it too, so yeah. Okay. Noah's if you skim past that top and you get the back one. Uh, hoping well, against hope here now is Holman. She has Manitoba right and right. yeah. Anderson need to just yeah. make one go away. Out turn. What a brilliant okay. shot. Do you like that face or do you like a little bit more? You could just plain hit the red one too, couldn't you? Yeah. So it's yeah. Pre skips preference Keep here. It hair high. Yeah, just like you know it. Throw it like you know it. Final stone for the, yep. the yep. win. The yep. finish first. Yes. 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 All the way down. Sweetie calling line. You can't oh, hurt it. And you'll spin in for one more. Manitoba will pick it up the win. And with it, they'll finish first. Make the final nine to six. And so all three of those teams, Manitoba, Ontario, and Wildcard, will finish at nine and two. Northern Ontario, one game off the pace at eight and three. So it will be Ontario and Northern Ontario in the three, four page playoff. Make a note, 2 p.m. Eastern time, the one, two game with the winner getting the spot in the final. 
the wild card team or the Manitoba team, whomever lo loses that game will drop to the semifinal. That's tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So round robin is over and we're on to the championship weekend. A reminder, curling day in Canada tomorrow. So round robin is over and we're on to the time to celebrate if you're Manitoba. The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by OK Tire and BKT Tires. The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of curling Canada, by Scotty's, Canada's number one tissue, and by Home Hardware. Here's how. To win any Scotty's title, I think I probably want this one the most. And the reasoning is because Thunder Bay is hosting the Scotties next year. And I think to be back and be representing Team Canada would be pretty amazing. I think for us it's mostly uh, we want to win every game we're in and we want to see how far we can go in the sport and we want to represent Canada and we're uh, excited to get the chance to maybe put that maple leaf on our backs. Going for number four, but first she'll have to get by Northern Ontario. That is the three four page playoff. The winner will move on. The loser eliminated, of course, tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. The three four page playoff. And of course, as well, it'll be curling day in Canada. Immediately following our coverage of the three four game, approximately 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Brian Mudrick, Bob Weeks will host. And we'll have an interview with John Epping. We'll feature Special Olympics curlers and as well a very special announcement. Curling day in Canada is tomorrow. So the round robin is through except for the Fab Four who are left. And to all those teams who are leaving us now, we say thank you very much for a terrific week. And we look forward now to the championship round when we join you again tomorrow. The Scotties here on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN.